Lee from PJD Guitars. Today we're going to show you how to cut the perfect nut. So I'll um, show you the guitar that it's going to go in and then hand you over to one of our very experienced techs, Steve, and he'll show you exactly how to do it. Here's the guitar in question. Beautiful PJD Carey Elite, which is absolutely stunning, finished in I believe some kind of blue colour by the looks of things. <laughs> if you get real close to this, you can see that it's kind of shiny. So basically you want your you want your nuts as slippery as possible because obviously any tension or um, binding is going to cause tuning instabilities. So these are fantastic. We get them from a place in Germany. Um, check them out. Uh, I'll put the, the, the name below in the description. We get all our nut slots machined perfectly for these nut blanks. So if you have a look, it will go in perfectly. You don't want it to be jammed in there, but also you don't want it to fall out when you take the strings off. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hand you over to Steve now and he's going to take you through how we cut these. The doctor's surgery. <laughs> First thing we do is we check it fits in the slot and drops to depth. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than we need. So the first thing we'll do is we'll trip it down to the correct width. Thing we do test our width make sure we are at width this one's a little bit long so we know we need to take a little bit off the sides and we scribe with a pencil or half a pencil mm. our point of no return for the nut slots pop it out So now we've got our line, we've got a lot of material above it, so what we're going to do is get a shut of a lot of that material so we're not filing down forever to get your nut into to location. Originally at PJD we used to use this string space in Rowell. And what that does is provide you with your correct spacing for each string. But now, because we're speeding things up, we've got a jig to help us along. PJD jig, low E, high E. Ensure the nut goes in the correct way. Giving our datum line from our cut. Once we're in place, it's quite snug. We've got the six lines there, just to score off each of the string lines, which we'll do in the vise now. So now we've got all the lines marked with the fret saw, we're ready to start filing.
them look rough sanded now. Ready for a polish. Rough cut and semi polished, ready for dialing in onto the guitar. Beautiful nut, just for you. <laughs> Get all our machine, uh, all our um... Chris. Chris, what's your Chris? Come here. What's your favourite pair of pliers? Because I see you've got quite a lot of pliers here. I like a cutting plier. You know, okay. does doubles up pulls and cuts. Very good choice. Hi there, my name's Dave, and I'm an assembly. I'm really good at getting naked. <laughs> <laughs>